Look what I've found, a little seedling that's come up on its own. It looks like it might be a myoprum montanum or something similar. So what I'll do is I'll put um, I'll put a nice concrete brick around it so it doesn't get mown down by the lawnmower. And I'll let it grow into a new tree. I like volunteer trees. That's the easiest form of forestry. This is what it's going to grow into. This looks like what it is. Looks like it's one of these. I think it's a myoprum of some sort. If it's not myoprum montanum, it's something similar. So that's fun. This one came up just from, by itself too. It's got pretty flowers on it. And obviously the birds spread the uh, berries. So if I save that little seedling, it'll become a tree. Help save the planet, grow some trees. I, actually, I think today is International Tree Day. Tree Planting Day, something like that. This is the easiest way to plant a tree. Have one already planted. But recognize it as a tree that you want. This is a little native tree. So I'll just protect it now with this concrete brick. There we are. And that will stop it from getting mown down and it'll soon grow up big enough. It'll soon grow up big enough into a new tree. And it'll have berries and attract lots more birds. I think it's a myoprum. Probably myoprum montanum or something similar. The flowers of myoprum montanum, as you can see, are quite decorative, aren't they? Quite pretty little things. Isn't it lovely? And the berries attract birds. And they're good little hardy native drought resistant species. This volunteer tree has lots of flowers on it too. Nice sight in late winter. This myopra montanum came up from a seed. Look at the size of it now. They're not that cheap if you want to buy them from Bunnings. Bunnings sell a prostrate, prostrate variety actually, as well. So encouraging uh, volunteer trees is a very good idea if they're the native species and growing the landscape well. That's them. Doing so well. All the pretty myopra and montanum blossoms fall on the ground. Aren't they pretty? Look at them. Very decorative. Pretty myopra and montanum. Here's another little volunteer tree, a sucker I think, a sucker of uh, Acacia stenophylla, so that was very lucky. And it's growing beside some sandalwood, so the sandalwood can use it as a host. This sandalwood too can use it as a host, they need their host tree. If they're not sandalwood they're quandongs and they need a host wattle tree, so that's very handy. It certainly saves you time, effort and money when trees come up on their own. This is a little Acacia baileyana. Looks like the purpurea type with purple leaves. That's very handy because it means I don't have to plant it. It will make the birds happy. It'll have beautiful flowers. It's drought hardy and frost hardy. Very lucky. The most welcome volunteers. And here's another volunteer tree, another Acacia baileyana. Grew up by it on itself, on its own from a seed. That's very lucky. It should be nurtured and encouraged and, and it will become part of the new forest. It's the easiest way to plant trees is to do nothing. 
That goes for herbs too. This is white whorehound coming up on its own and doing well. I look at this dock I just discovered. Hasn't it got the most beautiful decorative seeds you've ever seen? Oh, they're lovely. Dock. Look at that beautiful, all those seed heads. So decorative. So decorative, very decorative. There's always something beautiful to see in the garden. Always. What would that be? What would that be? A jewel, a bright jewel. A Marnie gem. A Marnie gem. What a bright jewel it is on this day. This cloudy day. Cold, cloudy day after the rain. It certainly lights things up. A gem. A gemstone. Perfect. I've never, I've never seen such a perfect gem cut so beautifully. It's not a piece of mercury, is it? It's water. Isn't it gorgeous? Where isn't the sunlight shining? Where isn't the sun shining? How it would twinkle in the sunlight. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it beautiful? It's like mercury. Fantastic. A pearl. The most wonderful gem. I think it might be a diamond. The sun is trying to shine. If only the sun would illuminate it properly. That's a beautiful diamond. As good as anything Liz Taylor wore. Oh, isn't it wonderful? The most wonderful gem on earth. Pure and glistening. Wonderful. Just look at it. What if it were a ring on my finger? What if it were a ring on my finger? Let's see how it would look. Where's my finger? Come on. There you are. There you are. How would that look like a ring on my finger? I think it would look very nice. There. A beautiful gemstone. I haven't seen anything so fantastic for a long time. What a wonderful gem. It's gorgeous. So pure. It's a diamond. But as I was saying, I was saying that white whorehound comes up everywhere. So it's a wonderful herb for making your own whorehound beer with. And it's got very whorehound cough lollies. This is growing so well. It's free and it's wild. Let's pick some for the goat. It's supposed to be a good worm med medicine for goats. Let's pick some for that goat. I'll pick some nice whorehound for that goat. Here we are. She's eating white whorehound as worm medicine. Oops, one handed camera work. There you go. See you then.